Ida for taking the kid I was babysitting to my dad's house? 1. I 18 F was babysitting my boyfriend's younger sister Amelia 2 F. My boyfriend 21 M was out of town. My family and my boyfriend's family are extremely close. My dad and his mother have been friends since childhood. I was asked to babysit his infant sister by his dad Richard because his mother was in hospital and he needed to go to work for an emergency. Of course I agreed and went over there. He offered to pay but I declined because I love that little girl like she's my own sister. Richard said that he would be back by 10 p.m. the latest. I told him that was fine. I went over to their house at 9 in the morning. Richard did not turn up at 10 p.m. I called him and he didn't pick up. I called my boyfriend and my boyfriend's brother who had no idea where he was. I did not call their mother because she was in hospital and the last thing she needs to know is that her husband is missing. Plus, they are having problems so I didn't want to be the cause of a divorce. My boyfriend asked me to wait until his dad got back. I waited another hour and then called him again. No response. I was getting worried because I had work in the morning. Plus this man who said he was gonna be back had just gone MIA so he could have been in trouble himself. I ended up calling my dad and explained the situation to him. He was extremely pissed and told me to bring Amelia over to his place so he could watch her for the night. When I got to his place, my stepmother put Amelia down in my little sister's room and my dad went out. Turns out, Richard was at a bar and my dad found him drunk out of his mind. He said that he did actually go to work but went to the bar to let off steam because he was stressed which I do understand because his wife is in hospital and they're having problems. Now, my boyfriend's mother has asked Richard to move out and she paid me for my time she wouldn't take no for an answer. Apparently his drinking has been a long term issue and she's had enough. My boyfriend is pissed at me because he asked me to stay and I didn't and he said that I could have called in sick the next morning. He said that considering how close our families are, I could have done him that favor instead of blabbing to my dad and causing his parents to split up. My dad says I did the right thing because Richard could have been in trouble and his next move after checking the bar would have been to call the police. I just feel terrible now and my boyfriend won't speak to me. I do for not leaving BF at my home alone because he opened the Ferrari after being told. No, I'm currently renovating a house I bought. So while it's under construction my parents said I could stay in their vacant beach home. My dad keeps a rare Ferrari in the garage that is never driven. I've been dating my BF for 3 months, but the first time he came over, he made a big deal of the car and asked if he could see the inside like opening the door. I said no, it's not mine. He asked again, and started teasing me like trying the door handle and it opened. I said he was being out of line because I'm staying at this house on my family's kindness and didn't need the car to have an alarm go off or something. I told my sister about it, and she said he seems like bad news. My parents already do not like him because my dad said the first time he came over to the house, he got a video doorbell notification, and BF looked like he was taking a video with his phone from the entryway. My dad keeps business records stacked in boxes in the basement that I also specifically said not to look through when he seemed curious because again, it's not my home and it's just disrespectful and he again teased me about looking at stuff. He asked why I was so suspicious about him looking around the home, and I repeated again it's not my stuff and just no. So today, three months in, he asks for a key or the keypad code so he can lock up because I have to leave early in the morning. I'm uncomfortable with this because of the other stuff, but he made me feel guilty saying, you act like you don't trust me. for asking a disabled child to hide his disability? I'm sorry for any unclear wording. I'm not from the English-speaking part of the world. New account and altered names for privacy. I have 38 am married to a man I'm 46 who has two children from his former marriages. We live together. We have a five-year-old son named Mike. His oldest son does not live with us. The youngest son Milo M17 does live with us part-time. Two years ago Milo was in an accident and he had to have his eye removed. He refuses to wear a fake one or an eye patch for some reason and just has it covered with his hair. Please don't get me wrong. I feel bad for Milo because of his disability and I have been nothing but accommodating to his needs. However it is quite an unsettling sight. His eye doesn't close fully and it creates the illusion that he is constantly staring watching us. It has been a problem for Mike especially. He often gets scared because he thinks Milo is watching him even when he doesn't. Mike is a very nervous and sensitive child. He is suspected to be on the spectrum. I talked about it with my husband after Mike had a meltdown over Milo apparently watching him. My husband politely took Milo aside and explained that Mike is scared of his empty eye and that he should cover it up when he comes over. Milo was very upset and complained to his mother. She asked him to stop being difficult on purpose and trying to drive a wedge inside the family. Milo complained to his older brother too. The brother called my husband and screamed at him. He said that we are failing Milo. We tried to explain that Mike is afraid of Milo and he is very sensitive. 
negative. He has nightmares about Milo watching him in his sleep. He called us both assholes. Milo said we are assholes too. I now feel bad for upsetting Milo and for creating drama between my husband and his oldest son. Things were not very peaceful between them even before and now it's getting worse. Ida for wanting to kick my future sister-in-law out of my wedding party. For context, I 25F and my fiancé 25M have been together for 8 years. We got engaged 4 years ago and have experienced many financial hardships, but as the tides turned for the better we finally decided to tie the knot. My fiancé is a blue-collar worker and I work in healthcare. We aren't rich by any means but are more than comfortable at this point in our lives. Upon deciding what we wanted to do for our wedding we came to a mutual agreement that we wanted to have no more than 100 guests invited to the reception. Me and my future SIL 27F have never been particularly close. However she was extremely excited for us to get married. I asked her to be my bridesmaid out of respect, to include as much of his side of the family in the wedding as possible. I don't believe she knew the financial responsibility it would come with when she agreed to take on the position. My future Sil expressed many times how she was struggling financially. Me and my spouse offered to pay for her dress, cover her costs for the bachelorette even though my mo is covering my portion and even make sure she has some spare cash for the bar on the wedding night. We have been nothing but accommodating to her so she can feel included. Here's where things start to go south. When we sent guest invitations we made sure his sister was included in the process. It was made clear that we had limited seats and wanted no more than who was on the list. We even told her if less people came we would save costs that would go towards the honeymoon. This past week my fiancé received an eyebrow-raising message from her stating that she invited four more people that we weren't aware of nor did we even know existed. This was the last straw for me and I lost a gasket. My fiancé told her she had no right to start inviting random people to our wedding as they would not be accounted for. She said she figured if we can afford to accommodate 100 people, then four more was no big deal. We absolutely lost it on her as this wasn't the first time she had done something that made us face palm, but this was too far. She then said she would uninvite the people she asked to come and tell them to forget the date. Ever since that day she has been making public Facebook posts basically victimizing herself. She has been very cold and disinterested when it comes to helping plan the wedding, and even rolled her eyes many times at me and my fiancé when we hosted a wedding party meeting to make sure everyone is on the same page. I'm leaning heavily to kick her out of the wedding party as she has contributed to more stress than anything else. 